Hey, you. How are you doing? Come on, let's go. Electro shock. <laughs> and I'm Francois Kent, keeping it in the mix. With the awesome this car is much nicer than the last one. That top's new. It suits you. The pants, they're a bit weird. Nice shoes, Nico. I'm so full, I think I might burst. It's nice to have a friend who understands the madness that I've lived through. You know what my family is like. I do, but I don't think that any life is not mad. You are here in America. You have had opportunities that most of the world could not imagine. An Irish family manages to make it the 18th century when or wherever they are. The men in my family are just highwaymen and moralists, usually both in equal measure. I don't know if I'd agree that Packy was a moralist. It seems like a highwayman through and through. You should see him around me. If a man even looks in my direction, he threatens to rip his heart out. Well, it's a good thing that we are just friends. If this was a date, I'd be scared. It's nice to have a friend. I enjoy talking with you. Don't be a creep. We're friends. Goodbye, Kate. Speeding all around, the naked 27 got the power in his bell to move any mother that gets in my way. Just another power machine or on the freeway. Father with me, there's my MC homeboy. Knowing the rules ain't part of his program. Finding the right way around this map might be pretty hard to crack. T Grand Vamp Auto, you gotta make a mark and move where you want to. T that determination to steal what you can and run from the nation. Hey, hey, what do you say? We automate a secret to speed from our getaway. Take it to the edge, there's nowhere to hide and call up the boy. Let's go for the joyride. Let's go for the joyride. Are you trying to get us both killed, you fucking asshole? What? I send you to destroy an organization and you only make the boss disappear. Now his chief lieutenant is holed up in an apartment and he wants to speak to the Fed. Whoa, hold on. An organization? No, you fucking idiot! I paid you to do a man's job, you amateur, you fucking boy! No, 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 no. You sent me to kill one guy. One guy who would put you in prison. Bullshit! <sighs> All right, I'll tell you what, genius. I'll tell you fucking what. Tell it to the judge. Tell him I only sent you to kill one guy so it ain't your fault. <laughs> I wonder what he'll say. Maybe he'll let you walk. On account of you being brain dead <laughs> and totally fucking <laughs> mentally retarded. Maybe he will. Either way, you're screwed. Now, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait. <laughs> Look. You gotta do this for me. For us. Come on, you idiot. One more. The guy's a fucking lowlife. He means nothing. If there is a god, and he loves us, if there is, he'd want this cut dead. The guy sells heroin to kids. The world is full of bad people. But we've got a lot to lose. I don't have anything to lose, Mr. McCreary. <sighs> How much? You know my price. No. Five. You're cool. I don't care. You bastard. Okay. Now the guy lives in an apartment on Denver between V and W. He's holed up there pretty tight. I left a rifle for you in the trunk of a car at the corner of Albany and M. So go there, give me a call.
make it through the day. Hey man, nothing gets these chochas dripping like I found the place. Okay, the mopes hold up in his apartment. It's on the fourth floor on the east side of the street. Go up onto the roof of the building opposite to get a shot at him. What if he isn't standing by the window? Then use your damn imagination to get him to the window. Jesus! Call me when it's done. I dealt with you. You did the right thing. I hope that the kids out there get this message and realize that there are better paths to take. I'm not interested in your sermon, Mr. McCreary. Let's not pretend that this was anything other than business. There's nothing wrong with admitting that you've done some good. The community thanks you. One percent better. If a hundred people manage that, it'd be a hundred percent. 